It's been 24 hours. It did not dry. What's rolling in tonight? Four to eight, uh, nine, 10, 12. <laughs> 224. <laughs> Four feet. So we're in a bit of a quandary. It was an epiphany. <laughs> call it a problem let's call it a challenge we should go together yeah let's do it hi i'm kathy and that's rich and we're building an off-grid earth sheltered house here in the adirondacks as you know we didn't get the dome covered and insulated before winter so the cooler temperatures are creating challenges as we try to finish our bathroom but with winter also comes snow and we love snow. So we try to make the most of things and have a little fun along the way. Icy rain, be safe. We looked out the window and I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like our foam blew all over the woods again. I, we just can't. When Rich is leaving. I almost fell. Little ice ball bearings on top of ice. Little ice ball bearings on top of ice. That's new. <laughs> we were really hoping to get this coated with red paint today, but it's been 24 hours. It did not dry. The hydraulic cement is taking a very, very long time to dry. And you can see how it's dry here, mostly, but not there, because it's darker. And that's because that outside wall is too cold. And the spackle on the sheetrock, too, is not completely dry. You can see where it's still dark in places. It's just because it's so cold in here. Gotta be patient. So this is day, day three, right? Since we did the sheetrock and stuff? Yeah, yeah, we'll stack on the wall, yeah. It's drying better, but it still has a long way to go. Did you have to crimp it down a little bit? Yeah, I had to crimp it down a lot. Still need to go. Huh. Rich and I ran into another problem, and it's not this. This is super easy. The problem is that we want to do the insulation in the ceiling of the bathroom, but that means we have to run the venting for the stove hood. So we had to figure out where our cabinets are going to be because we bought them used. We have to use the sizes that we have and make it work. And when we figured that out, we realized that the stove has to be here. And that means the vent hood vent pipe has to go in that bay. And that isn't going to work because of where we have the vents in the bathroom. So in order to vent it out the south side of the house, we have to go in this bay. Right. And in order to do that, our cabinets and everything would have to move. But I think we came up with an alternative option. So after careful consideration, Richie... I decided to reverse these two ducts. I know I've been a little grumpy, but when I have to do stuff like this, it makes me grumpy. Well, right now, of course, you're just repeating. You have to undo something you spent time doing yeah. and redo it. And it is one of the things that we feel like we do a lot, unfortunately. I rip stuff out <sighs> and then I put it back. It's gonna go into this bag and then We'll get the other one for the stove here and cut my hole. I definitely got to cut a hole and we got to get all that done. Hopefully we'll get all that right. done in an hour. <laughs> Four days later, and I don't know if you can see it, but it is a visible change. It is drying, but it is drying very, very slowly. What's rolling in tonight? Storm. Yeah, no. so getting Four ready. To... How much? Four to eight, uh. nine, ten, <laughs> twelve. <laughs> 
two twenty four. Four feet. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> They're never really right. But the tractor's ready. No, the it's eight... not. What? I just realized there's a broken. I broke that other uh, shear pin I made on there, so I got to oh, no. take off the only good one, measure it, and make sure I could find the right ones before that one is completely broken too. Everything is frozen. It's pretty darn cold out here. I'm gonna take a quick walk and check the propane. We are going through so much propane lately. The generator uses about one point nine gallons per hour the navion we're still trying to figure it out i think it's more like 1.2 gallons per hour Ooh, we're about 490 right now so yeah we're going through about oh, five to six gallons of propane a day all right so we're in a bit of a quandary we have to move some ERV pipes. It's going to have to be, I'm thinking, somewhere in this bay, right? Right around here. One is going to go into something over here. I want to just make sure we're not taking away too much of our space. You know what I mean? I want to measure what the knee wall will be. That brings me right to there. Yeah. So that's about as far as I can go with that pipe. Right. So needless to say, we want to keep all this stuff close to the wall. So I made this piece. It's just a little piece of pipe, coupling elbow. I think it will go into this. But once I go upstairs, you'll get on the ladder and make sure this is all where it needs to go. What is this garbage that I bought? Ow! Ooh, that's really sharp. No, this is not right. It's so wrong, it's not funny. Yeah, it's tight, right? We'll do it. You like that? Yeah, I think that looks... Is there any chance you can go down and push up on it? Don't let go, because I'm going to put a screw in it. This tape is terrible. I almost see through it. I hate it. All right, now I'll use this. Sharp. Oh, I did it. Twenty minutes wasted messing with the stupid tape. So we maintain between 49 and 53 degrees with this wood stove, running at about 450 to 500. Not even today. Right now it's only a little under 400. And it's maintaining 49 degrees inside the dome. So that's pretty good. And you can tell that it's cold out because there's condensation up there. So it's quite a cold day, but we're keeping the dome at about 49 degrees using only the wood stove, which saves us gas. The only downside to that right now is that we're keeping the bedroom door closed. And since the heat's not going on, the bedroom gets down to about 53, 54 degrees. So only a few degrees warmer than the rest of the dome. And Rich just reminded me that when the stove goes out and the Navion boiler kicks on, our bedroom actually gets hot, too hot at right. night when we're sleeping. All right, you know right away when the stove is out because the boiler kicks on, gets really warm in the bedroom in the middle of the night, and then we get... Then we wake up sweating. Yeah, then we wake up. <laughs> and when we say really hot, we only oh. mean 60 degrees, Yeah. but we like it a lot cooler to sleep. But here's the big problem is the bathroom. Because we're closing it in, and since the boiler's not running, none of the heat gets in here at all. 
the bathroom is 45 degrees. And that is exactly the reason why the hydraulic cement and everything else is not hardening. So we need to finish closing this in and get the bathroom heated up. Where's those screws? Here's a screw. So here's a, that's a beam or what, whatever you call it. Yes. Rafter. So you want to be like right here somewhere. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Carpentry with Kathy. I got a lot of fixing to do here. I think I put that one off long enough. I probably should fix it right away. So far, so good. All right, well, if we don't have any leaks, it's fixed. All right, I'm gonna turn the water on. You're gonna need a bucket. Good? Coming up, you can turn it off. Am I looking for leaks? Yep. So now I'm just gonna tuck a little bit of insulation back over this thing. All right, we're getting closer to insulating the ceiling. Yay! Okay, let it dry. I was just filling my water bottle and I think I noticed a little problem with the door. I don't know if you could see, but right up there, I see daylight. And... As you come down, right down here, I don't know if you can see it, but I also see daylight. And I'm pretty sure we shouldn't be able to see daylight through there. Let's look over here. Yeah, I see daylight up there in the corner, right in this spot right here. I also noticed a little daylight at the front door. I see daylight right up there. I see daylight up here. And I see daylight the whole way down right here. Chief doing? Yeah. There's supposed to be energy store. You see the daylight, Rich? Yep. So what can we do? We could add some extra weather stripping from the outside edge and then put a storm door on there too. <sighs> so yeah, more work. And that is bathroom door that goes into the master bedroom closet. We're gonna check on Kathy over here and see how she's doing. She's been working hard painting inside the shower with this red guard stuff, right, Kath? Yeah, almost done. Stuff's got some serious fumes coming off. Do you feel high, Kathy? <laughs> no. Are you happy? But I do feel the need to get out of here soon. I'm happy, I want this shower. Don't you want a shower, Richie? Yeah, I do, I'm getting a little dizzy. All right, yeah. we're making progress. Yes, we are. We got our ceiling all ready to be insulated. All the pipes are secure and insulated and 
we're gonna just go ahead and put some insulation in and then probably that door. I gotta get out of here. I got a lot of insulation up here. Good morning, everyone. Rich and I got the bathroom pretty much mostly closed in yesterday. We are going to focus today on the ceiling, getting the sheetrock done. And we came across a problem. Doesn't have to do with the sheetrock. It's not a huge problem, really. It's annoying. No, it's a challenge. I don't want to call it a problem. Let's call it a challenge. We got these beautiful doors for $25 and the doorknobs were free. We installed this door yesterday and it looks fantastic. However, we realized when we walk into the closet, the light switch is now on the wrong side. The other door that we returned opened the other way, so we put the light switch over here. So I think we came up with a solution. We're going to move this light switch either up or down and we're going to put a light switch in the bathroom so we'll change this out and we'll make it a three-way with one in the bathroom so we have a switch on both sides it's the next day and it's not quite dry yet you can still see some pink so i have to wait a little longer but everywhere else it dried really well now that we have the bathroom mostly closed in we are keeping the door between the bedroom and the bathroom open so that it is somewhat heated. And hopefully that'll help everything dry up a little bit better. All right, we don't need that because now Richie came up with an idea. It was an epiphany. <laughs> We're gonna take, the, take out the double box, put in a single box, then just take the power from that and run it to the switch on the other side of the door. Oh, that's an easy fix then. Yeah, just take a day. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Oh. Anyway, back to the bathroom. Sheetrock on the ceiling, spackling and heat and when this dries more red paint. All right, this is day three, and we've still got some pink in the corners. I think the problem is that where the it's near the floor and the outside wall, I just think it's too cold, and it's not drying properly. So today's challenge is the cold wool. So heaters, fans, blowers, whatever we can do. I wiped off all the excess red guard to thin it out so everything could dry up a little bit better. I'm thinking even the hydraulic cement along the floor wasn't really completely dry. And we have a foot of snow outside today. I just added this moving blanket here over the shower entrance to help keep the warm air in there. And we'll check on it in a couple hours. It's been a couple hours. It's definitely turning red now. We're sacrificing some power, but 
It's for the greater good. Late last night, we were a little cold in the bedroom because now we're leaving the bathroom open as well. And we realized we forgot to plug up the vent hole in the ceiling. And I got to tell you, since we plugged that up, we stay at least two to three degrees warmer in here than we were. It's little things like that that you just don't think of sometimes when you're so busy. We got 14 inches of snow yesterday and it's snowing. Actually, is it more than 14? I don't even know. It's a lot. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> and we have this new sled we got. It's a Chappelle. We just needed something to help us get the wood. It's the extra large. Firewood, fishing, gardening, hunting, construction. Yeah, it's gonna be good. <laughs> it's a jet sled. Yep. HD, does that stand for heavy duty? Yeah, it's the biggest one they sold. For all your outdoor needs. Right. Which is firewood. Today we're gonna to use it for firewood for sure. <laughs> I, don't I don't know, figure it out. This should be fine. Isn't this sort of a temp of an ATV? Or right. All right. Perfect. Let's see how it slides with some firewood in it. You putting that little piece of sheetrock in? Yes, please. Can I have that knife that's down there? Please? Yes. So that piece of sheetrock was just a little too short, so we're just filling it in with a little spacer. We had leftover fiberglass tape from the shower, so we're just using it for the spackle because we just don't want to go buy anything else. And a trip to the store is a pain, to say the least. So that happened, but it only happened where I had some spackle on the ceiling. So I peeled it off and I can't peel anything else off. So I think we're good. Everything else in here has dried, nice dark red. So I'm ready to fill in a couple of spots and give it a coat. So everything has one full coat, but it is not drying again. Same problem, different day. So I put the bigger electric heater in here and the fan. And yeah, we're going through some wattage, but we got to get this dry. I mean, we have 72% humidity in here and that is just terrible. So it's been about two hours. We're now at 49% humidity, 66.5 degrees in here with the blower fan and the electric heater on. And it definitely made a difference. Yeah, we're having a wood problem. None of it's really dry enough to burn. So we're gonna go down and get some of our really dry stuff from the bottom of the driveway. Grab the sled. So I wanna just ride down on the sled. Watch out! I'm watching. <laughs> I think you're going to pick up, it, it's going to pick up some speed. <laughs> I was going to hit the ATV. We should go together. Yeah, let's do it. Our bank turn, which got me smack in the face with snow. <laughs> it is. It's a good thing. Though. I thought we were going to end up in the ditch. It saved us. Do you want to try once by yourself? I don't think so. Oh, chicken. Right. Turn! 
<laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> All right, let's get some wood. We've gotten a lot of comments from people about burning pine in the stove. So I want to just show you in the owner's manual that it says it is okay to burn white pine so long as it is properly seasoned. And ours is. And don't worry, we absolutely plan on cleaning the chimney every year. I got this really cool Camp Chef cast iron teapot for Christmas and you can drink out of it because it's enameled inside. All right, we're at it again. <laughs> Just a little bit at the top. Oh, the little things that make us happy. <laughs> it's dry and I am going to give it a second coat now with a roller. The roller works really, really well. Sleds are ready. <coughs> Smoking here. We have our first sunny day in about five days. We've got well over a foot of snow on the ground. It snowed for a few days straight. But since we have some sun, I'm going to take advantage of that and get the floor in the shower painted so I can run the heater on solar rather than wasting battery power. First coat's done, I'm gonna turn on the heater and the fan and hopefully it'll dry quickly. Fun. Second coat. So that's pretty amazing. Higher than what the panels are capable of right now. Yeah, because for some reason. Oh, it dropped down. It was yeah. that moment in time when the sun when, was the highest. Well, you turned on that electric heater too and surged maybe. Oh, yeah, it needed it. That's cool. Yeah. It looks good. I hardly did anything. <laughs> I'm moving very slow because I hate this job. It's just cold and nothing dries properly. It's a and challenge. It's a crappy job because you got a ceiling corner and I hate it. <laughs> You're doing great though. It's all good, honey. It's all just good. Just trying to get this sealed up in the corner and then we'll figure out a way to make it smooth later. Guess what? What? We're supposed to get a huge deep freeze down to negative 20. I think we're going to have to put the bathroom on hold. Will the dome be able to handle the deep freeze? Join us next week to find out.